Okay, real quick guys, uh, I just wanted to talk about motor temps. Um, this is something I see pop up on Facebook at least, I don't know, two or three times a day. Um, people concerned that their motors are getting too hot and they're gonna smoke them or burn them up or what have you. So, first and foremost, before you can even get into diagnosing whether or not your motors are running too hot or if they're running cool enough, you have to isolate your gyro. So, okay, so the leading cause of excessive motor temps is noise to the gyro. If you're hard mounting your flight controller, um, or if you've got a bad motor that's kind of vibey, if that noise transfers back to the gyro, it causes excessive heat in the motors. Um, and then when you, you know when you go up to a bigger motor like the RS2306, and you know Ryan Harrell or Joshua Barbell can explain this a lot better than me, but when you go up to those bigger motors, they do generate more noise, so which in turn means more heat. Um, you know, it's it's a trade-off for you know torque, response, speed, whatever. Um, so first and foremost, when you're building your quad, soft mount your flight controller. You know, some people soft mount their flight controller and their motors. Some people just soft mount their motors. I don't soft mount my motors because I think uh, it's it's not worth the trouble. I just soft mount the flight controllers. Um, the easiest way to do that is to get some some of the newer bobbins that are out. You know. RMRC kind of did it first. You know, they had these little uh, five by five bobbins or like five by six. And then Pyro Flip started selling some as well. They're a little bit bigger. They're like six by seven. So, you know, go to one of those places, get some bobbins. They're like, I don't know, three or $4 a pack. Mount your flight controller on them. And you know, if, you're, if your stack is in such a manner that it's not easy to use bobbins, then rebuild it because using O-rings does nothing. Um, I mean, you might as well just mount them on metal standoffs at that point. Yeah, I mean, it's they're not getting rid of vibes. So get some bobbins. And usually just using bobbins is enough to isolate the flight controller. If you have a, there are some types of frames and I've only noticed it on like a Unibody X where the arms go to the center of the frame there are some types of frames that transfer a lot more noise than other frames um, and in that case um, you can either switch frames or try soft mounting the motors as well as the flight controller but if you have a, uh, a frame that's kind of standard um, you know frames that have like you know separate arms or wishbone arms you know that don't transfer a lot of noise to the stack usually you can do with just bobbins like on all of my builds you know I'm running PT1 and I'm turning off the first notch I can turn off the second notch too with brand new props but then you know when you get racing and you ding up props that doesn't work very well so I just run um, the first notch off so anyway soft mounting you have to soft mount the flight controller even if you have a frame that you think flies clean with standoffs or with O-rings, it can fly better with bobbins. So once that's out of the way, once that's done, you've got your flight controller soft mounted. And if you're flying and you think your motors are getting too hot, the next thing you gotta ask yourself is what is the ambient temperature? So if it's above, I would say 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and you're out flying, you know, for a couple of minutes and you land and you touch your motors and they're hot, I'm gonna tell you that with a powerful motor, if it's 80 degrees outside, um, your motors, it's like, it's totally okay for your motors to come down at 100 degrees. If it's 90 degrees outside, my motors might come down at 130. Um, Sometimes they come down too hot to touch, which is, you know, the 140, 150 range, but that's, it's not often. But if it's 90 degrees outside, my motors are gonna come down smoking hot. Um, now the thing to look out for, that's, that's okay if they get that hot. The thing to look out for 
is burning enamel. So you can actually burn enamel without the outside of your motors, without your bells getting super hot. So if your motors come down and they stink, you have a major problem and you need to you know, address that. But if you're outside flying and it's 80 or 90 degrees and your motors come down hot, that is not a clear indicator that something is wrong. That just means it's hot outside. So, isolate your flight controller somehow with bobbins or motor soft mounts or whatever. Everybody should be doing that. You need to do that. You know, in, in like <clears throat> another way to do it, and this doesn't work because, you know, we have all these all-in-ones coming out. But if you have like an older flight controller like the Tempest where it has a flat bottom and you have a frame that where the, the stack area is flat, you can just mount it with like two or three layers of VHB and call it good. Um, I've done that a ton in the past. I did it with the original DTF flight controller which used an ICM dryer which is extra noisy and that worked great. Um, my Hyper Low, I have a Tempest in my Hyper Low and it's just mounted with tape. And I've got the 2750 red bottoms in there, um, you know, and it's it's pretty much noise free. So, <clears throat> so to recap, if it's summertime, don't freak out if your motors are getting hot. Um, but please take the steps to isolate your gyro somehow. Like everything, you know, your everything will be happier for. It. Uh, if you guys got any questions, leave them in the comments. If this video is stupid and boring, leave it in the comments. Um, if you guys have any ideas for any other videos I could do. You know, I'm playing with my new Sony X3000 and I've got a mic on it now, so hopefully the audio is pretty good. Um, if you guys got any video ideas, leave them in the comments. Um, I'm probably going to do like a what's my gear video next. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.